get me wrong, Brawl Stars, it's a great game, but there's definitely some things that could be improved upon or added to the game that would make it a lot better. And that's exactly what we're going over today, the best update ideas to add to Brawl Stars. Let's do it. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my new live streaming and gameplay channel, definitely go do so. Links above and below. Now, what would an update video be without ideas for new game modes? Right here, Brawl game. Basically, gun game, but for Brawl Stars. In this user's example, they have 20 tiers, and then once you get to the 20th tier, you get an energy drink, and if you get a kill after that, you win. I think 20 tiers is probably too many because that's 20 kills and that's not even counting if you die. If you die, of course, you go back a little bit. But gun game for Brawl Stars could be a lot of fun. Just make it maybe 5 kills or maybe 10 or something, 7. I don't know. You could definitely have a random number that could work well. Now this is one really small idea that would actually be so good for Brawl Stars. I mentioned this in meme review, but literally pins that will help you communicate with your teammates would be such a small ad that could actually improve the game a lot because let's be real, playing with randoms, it's not always a great experience. So just little things like this that could help improve it would be huge. By the way, speaking of pins, I'd love to see some community ideas for pins like these come in the game. I think there could be a lot of creativity that we could have with pin ideas. Now here's a quality of life change that would actually be pretty nice, especially for those of us wanting to buy skins. It's always really like important, I think, to be able to see all the animations. Some skins have really unique animations that make it a good skin, but like you can't see the losing animation until you buy the skin or you have to go on YouTube Watch one of my videos probably, or someone else's to see that. But for example, here you can just switch and see what it looks like while running, you can spin it around, or the losing animations, and of course winning too. Now this is an idea that people have asked for for a long time, but with Map Maker, I think it's more needed now than ever. We have way more mini games and crazy fun maps, and we're playing in friendly games a lot more because of Map Maker. Well, the ability to customize your friendly games has become more needed to help play along with this sort of thing. Maybe you can change how long the match is going, how many times you can die, how many gems it takes to win, how many goals you can score. There are all these different things where small customizations could go a really, really long way. In my opinion, it could really help the future of Brawl Stars. Now here's something that people occasionally ask for, and that's story mode for Brawl Stars. First of all, I think this would be really cool. The lore in Brawl Stars, it's there, and it's kind of crazy. Why not expand on it, add it to the game a little bit, and also treat it as another way to teach players how to play the game? Because let's be real, there's a lot of randoms who we feel like don't know how to do that. So, I think this could be two birds with one stone. You could teach them, you know, about the lore in Brawl Stars, get them more invested in the game, and you could also teach them how to play the game better or how to use that character better. Uh, I think there's a lot of different potential you could have with this or even how to play different modes better, how to be more objective, how to go in a lane, you know, go backwards when you have 10 gems, that sort of thing. Have you guys made accidental purchases? I do feel like a confirmed purchase uh, sort of icon would be a good idea. I feel like it makes sense in any sort of game where you're spending money. Maybe it's not that important. I am curious how often people do make accidental purchases in Brawl Stars though. I do feel like it's not as easy to happen as in other games. It's not horrible, but it definitely can happen. Also, this is something that's more for kind of pro players, maybe super high level, but honestly, I bet some other people would enjoy it too. The ability to block spectators. Why not allow this? I mean, maybe it's not a big priority, but it would be nice. Also, another thing that's more for high trophies but it's actually kind of a problem. It's really boring on high trophies because it takes forever to find matches. So you're just sitting there staring at the spinny star. What about the ability to go in training cave or something like that? Maybe all of your teammates can go together in training cave and you know shoot at each other and you just infinitely respawn. It would make it a lot more fun to be able or to push high trophies. Right now it's kind of boring partially because of how long it takes to just find matches. This is another map maker thing that I think is kind of needed and that's the ability to share your maps a lot easier. Of course this is on their radar, I'm sure. Like, you know, being able to copy a map and just add it to your uh, list of maps, that would be really cool. Or just like this, you can put it in chat and you can just immediately play it with your friends or join their game room and play it with you. Another small quality life thing, but wouldn't it be kind of cool to see how much time you spend playing each brawler? I mean, of course we all know what ones our favorites are, but 
how much time have you actually spent? And it would also be kind of like a cool badge of honor. You can compare this sort of thing with your friends. Now, one great thing about Mapmaker is the potential for mini games. But right here is another way that really incorporates that ability for mini games. I seriously think there's a huge potential for this in Brawl Stars where users can make either mini games or add on their own maps to these types of mini games that would seriously be so fun in the game. Now this is something that's actually becoming more and more needed in Brawl Stars, and I do believe it's something that will come at some point, but a better brawler selection UI. Look, we're getting more and more brawlers, and it's getting harder and harder to find the specific brawler you're trying to find. Sometimes you're like, wait, where am I playing? And you know, of course you might switch how you're sorting stuff sometimes, and it can just get kind of confusing. Please, we need a little bit of a better system for sorting brawlers. Now, one thing that the dev team has agreed upon that needs a rework is power play. And honestly, I couldn't agree more. It's really not as competitive as you would hope and want it to be. It kind of feels random and then kind of lackluster. So here's a rework suggestion. In my opinion, the biggest part about this rework is the ability to have leads. In other words, it's sort of like a different matchmaking system for power play. They're keeping it similar where you get three matches per day that you can do. In this case, they have it be a best of three where you face one team in a best of three at the same time. Maybe that works. Maybe that's a little harder to do because that requires at least possibly 10 minutes of uh, six people's time. But one big part about this version of power play is after the season is over, depending on your performance, you will be placed in a league. And then every season, you will either go up or down in the league's ranking to face different level opponents. In my opinion, this is especially important because I feel like the matchmaking at the beginning of power play is just awful. It's like if you're on a good team, you face jokes of opponents early on. If you're playing with randoms, you're gonna get jokes of teammates a lot of times. But if you're able to go up in leagues, that's gonna be less likely to happen. You're only gonna get people who have spent time over multiple seasons getting to that league wherever you are. And this way you have much better matchmaking. Of course, another big part about this is they do have bands. I definitely think that makes it a lot more competitive, a lot more strategy oriented. I'm not entirely sure if this is the direction the team wants to go because it does add a lot of time to the matches and putting a ban up before every single match, but the idea is still good. Also, what do you think about this for power play? Of course, they add it in the new uh, UI section for uh, map selection or event selection, and there's an empty slot for power play. Is that because they intend to add some other sort of competitive mode? Or if not, maybe we can put some other info there. For example, if you've used your attacks in power play or how many power points you have or whatever else you think would be good for power play info. Also, I kind of can't believe this isn't in the game yet. Why can't we change who the leader is in friendly battles? The only way to do it is currently by leaving, but then it just passes it to the next person. You can't pick and choose, but like, especially now that we have map maker, you know, you might want to play a certain map, but you know, obviously only one person will have that map up and you got to switch to that person being the leader of the room in order to do so. This is a small change, but it would certainly be nice for any friendly battle stuff. Another small map maker thing could be adding an X for where you land on jump pads. I mean, obviously map maker is still pretty new, so stuff like this is just not in the game yet. But I think this is kind of needed, adding this in. So you know, instead of having to test out every single time you want to see if your jump pads work, you can just have, you know, it should tell you. Some more small quality of life stuff. Let me know if you guys think this idea is really needed or not. I mean, map maker, you know, does upvoting and downvoting really work that well? What about adding a meh button? Because sometimes, you know, maybe it was a decent map, but not quite as good. I mean, just more options for voting could give us a more accurate picture. We still might get execution time, but maybe it'll get a lot of mess and it won't happen as much. Now let me know what you think about this idea for map maker. What about having two winners of the day? One of them is more for fun maps and more troll, and the other one is meant to be a serious or more normal competitive type map. You know, no crazy jump pads, not a ton of water, not a ton of rope fences. And of course, those would have to be approved by Supercell, but you know, one map a day approval, that shouldn't be too hard. And I think this could satisfy a lot of people. 
more people would find map maker fun and it would be good for both worlds also i think there's a lot of potential with allowing more winners you know there's so many good ideas out there why not let more of them shine now this is an interesting thought for an idea and that's a like system basically at the end of the match you can choose whether to thumbs up your teammates or not i'm not entirely sure what the reward would be for getting thumbs up or what the exact benefit of doing it but there needs as long as there's some small benefit for it i think this could be a good idea for getting random teammates to troll a little bit less maybe they'll try a little bit more in order to get that extra stuff hey make sure to subscribe to my new live streaming channel right over there and hey if you enjoyed this video check out some more amazing ideas to improve ball stars over there thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you later peace